What's up guys, here we are back at it again and this video is actually a video that's pretty interesting because I made a video about this months ago and I knew it was going to go out, I just didn't know when. Okay, so if you ever have this in your Genesis, it's more than likely the problem. So there's two things, minus fuses, definitely check fuses first, but if your blower motor for your AC or your heat, the fan basically, stops working, there's two things to check for. Okay, so you can check, obviously the blower motor. The easiest thing would be, obviously check to see if it's still plugged in. Move over here to this one with the multi colored wires coming out of it that would be your that's the sensor for this and then also check all the fuses that's like a rookie thing that's like one of those things where it's like uh, let me make sure it's plugged in so this is what will happen you know turn the car on auxiliary power wait for it to do its thing And then go ahead, yeah, go ahead and try to kick your fans on. If nothing happens, but it still displays up top, up top here, hang on, get this thing going. Okay, so if it still displays up top here, all right. Right up there. But there's no fan coming out. More than likely, it is your blower motor. So, I already had an idea this was going to happen in the future. So, I went out. Once it stopped doing it, I already had an idea of what it would be. So, I went out and bought this CarQuest blower motor from Advanced Auto. So hopefully this fixes it. I'm pretty sure it will. But let's go ahead and actually replace it. You know, since I'm trying to make some more videos for you guys. Figure why not. Now, if you want to be super careful, you can disconnect the battery if you want. I'm not going to do that. Uh, if I get shocked, which I doubt I will. Shame on me. Um, so all you're going to need for this is a Phillips screwdriver so let's get down here see what we're working with guys so we still we have a Phillips head here a Phillips head back here and then a Phillips head here so what we'll do this is a little clip on the side of it right there we'll go ahead and get in there Squeeze it, unclip it, throw that off to the side, and then let me see if I can get you guys into a position where you can see it. Okay, so that's probably not going to work. So, one handed it is. Okay, so we'll take the first one out. One, take the second one out. Get up in here. Where are you at? Go ahead and get that one. And at some point, I'm imagining this thing's not going to hold itself in place. Probably as soon as I start loosening this last one. So I'll stick you up here for this. And this last one is, like I said, it's right up in there. So. Go ahead and get up in there. And then with that dump, with all with all the screws out, it should just drop straight down. And then we got the old blower motor sitting here. 
it spins fine on the, when it's like this, and then half like locks up when it's sitting up. So it's probably something going on on the inside of it. Actually, it's probably like one of the probably like a clutch in it or something. It just had its day. So here's the OEM one made by. Let's see who's making it. All right, so we got Bosch. The good old guys at Bosch is, are making it. All right, so let's put this off to the side for now. In the driver's seat, why don't we? And let's unbox this sweet little pea right here. All right, so CarQuest. So this from Advance was a 120 bucks. And if I don't like it, more than likely... I'll get an OEM one, like if it's too loud or something, because uh, the OEM one's like $145, so for an extra $25, you can get an OEM one. So right off the bat, let's notice the key difference here. So sorry about the sun, you guys. So we have an all-metal housing versus an all-plastic housing. Uh, this thing has some kind of weird, kind of weird removable tab. This one's all fixed in place. A little goofy on that end, so we'll slide that back in. Um, you know, the connector. It's about the same as little like an extension connector coming off of it. Versus this one has it built right into this the backing of the unit. All right, this thing. This thing's a, a little bit heavier than this one, so I don't like that. So this one, this one's probably gonna echo. We'll be a little bit louder. But we shall see. We shall see, guys. Uh, all right. Also, while you're in here, if you didn't already, I would replace your air filter. I just replaced mine, my last oil change, so this thing should be pretty clean. So, I have a video on how to do that down in my videos on my channel. So, if you need that, go ahead and cruise on down through there and see what you can find. Um, but I'll start, I'll put this first screw in, and then we'll go from there. Because this thing's a little bit heavier than the other one. Go ahead and slide it in there. I'm gonna put the first screw in. I'm gonna snug the first screw up. That way it can hold most of the weight. And then I'll run the second screw. guys run the second screw in there and I don't want to tighten them all the way down yet I just want to make sure they're tight enough that it's not going to pull on anything and then run this last one in I mean it's nice that it's a it's all by a Phillips head screw screwdriver it makes it super easy and super nice it just sucks that you have to do it but not everything lasts forever so now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down with not too much force but enough force that I know it's not going anywhere Same thing with this one that one and then we'll go ahead plug the connectors back in so you can definitely tell definitely a longer like a little extension so I'm gonna have to probably tuck the wire somewhere if I can get it with one hand this thing is fighting me so bad It'd probably help if I spun it around all right there you go clipped in yeah definitely a lot longer I mean this thing's just hanging beforehand the wire would just sit like this so I just tuck the wire back here 
this little panel. All right, so that's in. Let's see if it comes back on. If it doesn't come back on from this, then more than likely it's gonna be this sensor right here. This should control like the auto climate and all that good stuff. But usually these are pretty, these last a while. It's just a little air sensor, air temp. All right, so we'll come back up here. Try it again. Auxiliary power. Got the good old Hyundai sign. Hey, -o. And no, I did not get the GPS update. I've heard really, really bad things about it. So it's only a, it's only like 150 bucks, or it's like 200 dollars from my dealer, but. I heard like people's touch screens go like to trash after that. Okay, so we're back to the screen. Let's see if we can get this sucker to work. Oh, we got some fan speed here. Let's kick it up a notch. We got the front. So we definitely have some air going now, so that blower motor is shot. Okay, just still sitting good. Sitting at 20, 20 on the air fuel gauge, guys. The car is not even on. That's pretty good. That's just the standard. That's where it sits. That's the standard sitting for it. But so that definitely fixed it. So if you guys do have a Genesis Coupe and your AC stops blowing, you know that it is the blower motor. The blower motor has shot itself out for you. Um, like I said, so you're looking at unless you get like another used one from another like a like a broken down Genesis, um, you could probably get one for I don't know. Depends on how how quick the guy's willing to sell it. If he's talking some crazy prices, I would just honestly go buy brand new. Because like I said, the OEM one for it is. The OEM one was like 145 bucks from the dealer. That has like a warranty, and it'll be it'll be the OEM spec one, so it won't be as noisy. And if you do have any problems, you could definitely probably take it back to the dealer and have have them just replace it. Um, but besides that, uh, this new one it seems like it's pretty good. It is, I can tell it is a little bit louder than the OEM one, so I'll see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't get any louder, because if it is louder, like I said, I'm literally just gonna swap it out for an OEM one and save myself. I mean, I, I spent 120 for this CarQuest one from Advanced, Advanced Auto, versus spending 145 for the Bosch one from Honda, the OEM one. So, and I know the Bosch one's pretty quiet for what it actually is, versus this, so. But besides that, guys, just trying to make a quick video for you guys. Um, also, I was thinking about making another video on two different topics. The top five first mods to do to your Genesis. And the second one would be the top five biggest issues or biggest common issues with the Genesis. And that would be... that that specific video would be straightforward for probably both versions of the car so because uh, they have a lot of common issues so I've been noticing that um, but besides that like always if you like the video leave a like and if you're really feeling it and you want to see more about this Genesis go ahead hit that subscribe button also don't forget to leave a comment you guys leave a comment tell me what you think don't be shy. All right? But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks. Peace out. Thanks for watching.